A small structure keeping them apart. Victor with two on the round. The swing on the classic. That's three for Victor. Rustling around. And yeah, he's just dropping into his face. Mick standing here with Coach Kaplan after what must have been a very stressful game for you to watch, but we had so much fun watching it. You are now one map away from giving Zelsis the best birthday gift ever, a trip to Madrid. But let's talk about that last map because what a nail-biting series. It was the longest OT game that we've had in, in the Americas thus far. You called a timeout when the score was 14-14. What do you tell your team? Yeah, um, I mean, I think we were doing a pretty good job cracking their default. So we really that was just a bit of relaxation and, you know, micro adjust. We kind of knew the plan we wanted, but I was like, hey, let's just take a minute to iron it out. Great thing about OT timeouts, you know exactly what half you're playing next. So I spent some time talking about what I think they, you know, I said, I think they'll try to end day here on defense. And so we had a plan going into the defense round, too. We, you know, double dipped with the timeout. Always love to do that. And then. The guys always put the icing on the cake. I say a big idea, and then Tyson's like, let's play 4A. <laughs> Forget B, I'll just sit here. And he nailed it. I mean, it was a sick play from the guys. They were really patient. I'm um, really proud of them. Certainly, and the fans were cheering so loudly as well. Congratulations again. Best of luck on map number two. Thank you. Sentinels managed to fight back, pick up the first map here in a match that is pivotal. Win here and you move to Madrid to represent the Americas region at a Masters event alongside Loud. And what a game to start things off with here, guys. He, he just... At the beginning, I thought NRG was looking like NRG, and they were going to start cooking, and they were going to start doing the thing. And then Sentinel showed us why they're in this position to begin with. If there was two players to be the catalyst to come back into this one, it is Zekin and Tent. They call them the kids on Sentinels. And those two guys were electric on that second half, especially on this defense and in overtime as well. Zekin winning a ridiculous amount of opening kills, and Tens continually clutch as an anchor on the site kept Sentinels in this to even get to OT. Yeah, honestly, this was, and I'm, I'm not usually a stats guy, but this was Sentinels owning in the numbers, in the important categories. In yeah. first kill, first death, Sentinels were up 19 kills to the 11 of wow. NRG. So much of that was to tens and to Zekin. But even more than that, it came down to gun versus gun rounds where they got smoked, honestly. That's that's 14 out of 23. My, my math isn't great, but it's 14 rounds to nine rounds. And it comes because primarily energy won so many rounds because they were won both pistols and also sentinels were trying to force up in those second rounds so they got a lot of buffer early on in the halves but it was sentinels convincingly dominating rifle v rifle it yeah. absolutely was but beyond just how good the individuals were i think this was a clear game where both teams really understood their win condition and played to it quite well in particular i thought that nrg's mid-rounding to contend with this heavy retake comp was great this round one such example where you see energy isn't really going for aggressive using a bunch of util to take space early. Instead, they're slowly inching up, taking space after space, and not allowing Sen to set up for these floods. Yeah, and they know that Sentinels, their prep for Sentinels, is Sentinels like to play deep, and Tens like to play on that high box. Yeah, they are absolutely ready for that stuff. And, and you see here again, in this post plant, they're, they're pushing forward, they're finding space, but on the other side, for Sen, when they were permitted to play these more set retakes that you were talking about in that halftime Telestrator, that is when they were owning, when they get to pull out this preset stuff, they absolutely ran over NRG. They just didn't have enough counter utility to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like when Marv is able to find those openings. As the Flood comes in from Shop, he's fighting back in towards Alley. But then you see the power of the retakes. Again, this utility, just insane. Although Sentinels are still showing some different layers on this as well. In previous attempts, they actually would go for a late wrap. You can see it here from Tens as he goes late back through Alley to pinch in with yeah. the rest of his team. In previous iterations, Sentinels would commit all five players in. In this one, they had the pinch, and it was those tiny wrinkles that gave them the And it was hand. literally the end of the game, too, right? Yeah. I mean, just tense, tucked in a corner. Really smart play. Not trying to overcommit, not trying to show too much. It was just discipline. And don't forget that it was tens that completely saved the game when he was on top of the box in market, sees yeah. over the smoke, mows down three players. NRG are looking around like, where, where the hell is this guy? Like, yeah. we don't know. And it goes back to that interview as well, where Kaplan's talking about giving a big idea, and then yeah. the boys coming up with these little adaptations 
on the micro. I think that really showed here. They were doing the same big ideas of playing into these set retakes, but the small adaptations, positioning a player in a slightly yeah. different spot, setting up a bait for tens. That was what was make or, make or break in such yeah. a close game. I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, there's so many pivotal moments in that matchup, and the good news is that it's just a start. So let's go ahead and see where we are right now. If you're just joining us, you missed a whopper of a map on Sunset. It was a fun one without a doubt, but now we move forward, and we're, I think it's a cent next is what we're going to be yes, getting sir. here. So uh, and again, are we going to be seeing any, you know, funsies here? Could we potentially get a little thinner? I don't Maybe think so. Not I, after I, what I, we just I, saw. I, I'm a little bit less of a believer. This is yeah, also fair. a map where NRG played the tried and true, but this is a map where Demon 1 must step up. He got yeah. beaten in the opening kills, and after a pretty decent, pretty good first half, he got trounced yeah. in the second half. This is his map. This is a scent. Jet has to be dominant here. If he's not, it's Sentinels going to Madrid. This is also where the pressure is going to fall back to Ethan. I thought in the first half the mid-rounding was really excellent back on some set from Ethan, but Ascent is where that absolutely matters. That's we need to see role. some of that magic in the first four maps from this energy squad, where they're playing the mid-round to perfection, where the flashes to set up Demon 1 to find that success we need to see are on point. Everything needs to be hitting for energy to take this home. All right, there is your agents. No funsies. Pretty much oh, what you would expect. Of funsies. Yeah, I, I do like the Cypher, actually. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, I think the, the Cypher is very good on the map now, ever since the buffs to give him the extra range yeah. on those trips. Very powerful and a good a better answer into KO because he doesn't have the range gap that a Killjoy does. He can play away from that KO whenever the ult's on. Yeah, line. those anti-KO setups are really Beautiful. powerful. But this is the moment where Sentinels can break a streak. The last time they qualified to a Masters or Champions level event was Champs 2021, a completely different team. So much has changed since then. But this organization finally has another chance to make it to a global event. They're only a map away. And if EG lose, zero players from Championship EG will go to the first international event. Oh boy, a lot at stake here for Sentinels to get this 2-0. They will certainly need your energy like a spirit bomb. Um, but we'll see if that's going to be the case because NRG could actually stop them here now and force that map three. Let's send this over to your casters. It's Duck and Baby Bay. Thank you so much, GB. What a perfect setting to potentially close out this series or extend us over to split. We talked about the comm changes of the Destin a little bit. I'd love to get your thoughts. The KJ for the Cypher, what do you think? Yeah, just in general, I, I really like how Sentinels is being comfortable, like, changing their comps. And, like, yep. I mean, that just puts a thorn in, like, any prep that has been done for the likes of NRG or any team that they play against. Like, that unpredictability is so important going into these games because if you can catch people off guard and win a couple rounds, cheesy rounds here and there with the comp, I mean, that that's the difference. We saw it, right? That's the difference in winning a map that goes into OT and not. And John is also just so comfortable on the Cypher role in general. Why not, right? NRG on the attack. Knife hitting back sight. And B is littered with Cypher utility. Oh, John single lot though. There's the trip. The dark too, but they're gonna get away unscathed. It's the classic Sentinel's blueprint. Play retake on the Cypher side. And that's just gonna make for a chaotic attempt. Yeah. Add a retake, a 5v5. Crashies is taking a little bit of damage. Ethan has two. I like this from Crashies, but it looks like... Saucy is aware. Those two are be this late B main flank. Yeah, those two are just gonna sit side by side while the rest of the fight ensues on B. They're all huddled up. It's so close, and there it is. It's a two for two. Finally, things starting to crumble, but Ethan trying to keep them back, trying to hold the line. Saucy from up top disposes of them. Ooh, they know it's just more, but the clip runs dry. No way. Oh, that was so close. Oh. <laughs> What a start. It comes down to just ammo. Not having enough. He dinked him so early on. It's a, it's a miracle. That he stayed alive though. Yeah. yeah. Saucy, Saucy just in the matrix in that moment. Oh, it looked like he already wanted to invest into the Odin, but changes his mind. And I like this from Zekin. Bringing the outlaw into play here first one of the series and what a better spot to be at than here on heaven at a just free kills if a main is not smoked and they've got to know there's a lot of pressure here at tens and Delsis. 
Locking down A. Demon one on the other side will not be around for long. And they've got the spike. And I know I stated earlier that Sentinels was playing with a lot of respect towards Demon One, but now kind of feel like that narrative might change, especially with Zelsus just challenging him there. He was one shot headshot to a classic, but takes the fight anyway. <laughs> Look at this trip. What can you really do? Yeah, I, I think at this point, Energy is just trying to get out. Did he? Guns out of I hands think, of their opponents. I think Marv tapped the door on purpose. There. Sounded like it, yeah. Oh, to open? Wait. I heard it too. I don't know. What door did we hear? Maybe not this door. Maybe that, that might have been the A door. <laughs> Potentially. One enemy remaining. Either way, Vic falls. Marv left alone. Ooh. That's one weapon found. <laughs> you, saw, you saw on the player cam. Saucy just laughing about the left. jump peek that Marv just did. <laughs> Giving him props. That was a nice shot. <laughs> I like that. You know, having fun out there. Super important. Especially to play at a high level. You gotta be able to tap into that Ten and enjoy what left. you're doing. And honestly, when you're in that kind of zone, you play even better. Oh, he's just play a little bit loose. Hang on. I don't know if he's, gonna, gonna, he's not going to keep the weapon, keep right? They're going to keep him alive! That's amazing. Oh. Not feeding him anything. And now he's regretting dropping that bulldog. Look at his money! Wow. Wow! And, like, as a player... I, like, I'll, I'll speak about it after this replay because these are some nice shots, but... As a player, this is something you joke about in scrims. Oh, let's keep him alive, you know? Yeah. Keep him alive, but his money will be bad. I don't think I've ever seen it actually happen in a match <laughs> on purpose. They all deliberately hid from Marv there. Zekin still has the outlaw. There it is. Once again, besting Demon 1. Good trade from Ethan, though. I love what I'm seeing out of Zekin, though, man. That's a fast... KO all. I don't even realize that Ethan had this online already. He still has that outlaw. They've got to know he's back there. There's no way he got out of the site, but he gets a second with it. Placing alarm bot. This is a destroyed. doable situation, albeit difficult. Yeah. And already very costly for NRG. And I think if I'm sent here, at some point you gotta just make the play. Maybe we don't go for it. Maybe we just ruin the economy altogether. Well, Zelsus did just get a weapon. Mm -hmm. Managed to pick up a Spectre. Oh, Spotting the first, oh, just a little ahead of the flash. By the narrowest of margins. Now Ten's feeling the heat. He should really just try to get as many as he can before he dies here. I wondered for a second if Energy were going to be able to keep any. Yeah. Yeah, they, they very well could have lost all their weapons. If Zelsus and tens in that scenario decided to just play crossfires but i've been hyping up the outlaw so much and this is the reason why even if he doesn't get any of these kills and gets a 140 tag that makes the round so winnable for anybody even right. a classic right yeah a classic one shot that just does so much damage i'm very surprised that more people haven't been using it light armor on four for the defense And energy back to their similar antics yeah. from Sunset, a slow, methodical approach to the attack side. Great shock dart there. Getting crashes off the drone, taking chip damage as well. And there's the info, Demon 1 is in B main. Already Zekin leaning towards that market area, playing anti here. Does he peek off the timing of the Cypher cam? I think he does. I think so, too. Oh, look at the setup from Sen. They're so ready for the speed up on Cat. Yeah, and NRG are trying to potential cure at trips that may be controlling mid. It's often an alarm bot that's there, but given the Cypher pick, the approach is just a tiny bit different. It's so important here for NRG to break this cam and get out. You also oh. got to be careful here if you're Zekin not to overcommit. Yeah. Oh. Not to over oh. deliver, but he doesn't make any noise. He doesn't get the kill. Oh, wow. They're warning shots. But is that going to be enough? 
Zekin might be in trouble. Yeah, he's dead. He had nowhere to go. The TP back B. Saucy waiting. As aggression continues to trample forward, Marv's gonna fall. The spam trying to connect onto another, what? and nothing's found. The site wide open. Zelsus and John have to try to take this back and attempt it. A flood is denied. Crashy's weak. Quiet. His footsteps now pushing forward. Ethan disposing of IGL on the opposite side. He woke up. Oh. Yes, he did. Oh my gosh. Yes, he did. That's the Ethan we know. Maybe taking what I said a little too personal, huh? <laughs> he heard you. He saw the clips yeah. in between maps. <laughs> He's like, oh, we need me to shoot? Nah, I bet. This, I mean, that if he had gotten that kill on the Demon 1, I think it's such a different setup. But not only was that the problem, but again, Zekin had nowhere he could go. Yeah, it was, it was really good fundamentals from the side of NRG because if it was a flash play, anything like that, you had Ethan bottom right of mid, you had Victor right. bottom left of mid playing anti, like jiggling in and out, right? Holding for Demon 1 to just get contact there. So they kind of had an idea already going into the round that there might be a trap play around that mid area. And honestly, Zekin was lucky to even get out alive at all. Just pistols for Sentinels. Saucy with his ult. Yeah, and this is just pretty good IG yelling from the side of NRG, but Sen reading into it, understanding that NRG has had that B site for free the last couple of rounds. I wonder here what they do here if they try to clear out wine. Because that's smoke. That's a really good timing on that smoke. Yeah, they have to clear it. And that's exactly what Demon 1 does, but the paranoia just sways for a little oh bit. Oh my gosh! He jumped into it. He jumped into it. Oh, They're trying to get something else with these pistols, but it's just so hard. It's so labor. H1 HP. One HP. Oh! And he takes the fight anyway. <laughs> That's oh, demon know. one. What HP? That's what the one stands for, huh? <laughs> 30 seconds left. Things slow down just a little bit, but energy have so much room. This is doable for Sam. 13 HP between Demon 1 and Victor. Two players at 1 HP. You have a Deagle on the board. Marv, one shot headshot to a Ghost. This is very, very doable. And they might get spammed with this dart. When does he use it? Does Marv swing off this turret? Oh, so many options. Second guessing yourself. Oh, there's one! one enemy. The second falls! Vic has 12 HP! Oh my gosh! But he does have a gun! Can he hold him back? The first falls! Victor once again trying to do it all on his own! Dancing around Jenny. Oh Saucy gosh. tapping. Time is short. He's playing with him. He's bought so much time! What a play from Victor, the Red Bull Clutch! Victor is so cold in these moments where he's just finessing around a, a, an object. The last map, it was A site, default. This time it's Jenny on A. His movement is just too good. But Sentinels is feeling really good about that round. Yeah, they invested the Sova ult, but they had a chance at winning that. That was so close. Eyes up. I mean, 12 HP was the difference maker. Yeah. And so we go, energy with way. three ults on the round. One of them was just used, the Blade Storm online. Wow. And it's neutered for just a moment. Delayed by the blade. Oh, Cover very, going out. very interesting change of pace from NRG. Drop the snipe. And I do wonder if they were gonna actually commit there or if the whole plan all along was to fake that A main aggression, but look at how proactive Sentinel Sentinels are right now. Tyson reclaiming that A main space, going into wine. That's so much info gathered, but they're not moving on the map, not reading into it. NRG did just enough to keep Sen guessing on this A site. And you know what? That goes into last map's mind games, right? Where NRG would cut noise and still re-hit the same site. That drone should be an indicator though that there is a lot of pressure here towards B. You see some of the mind games already. That shock intended to clear the cam that was there a couple of rounds ago. Yeah. Here. Should be a free B site here. Yeah. Demon one not finding any targets. Oh, what an interesting trip. But it'll delay and it'll buy some time. Left. 
Second has an op, an Odin in the hands of Sasi. And another explosive attempt at a 5v5 retake. Yeah. On the cards. They're taking their time though. Wow. Demon one with one, that's all it is. Zalsus on the trade. Spike continuing to tick away and Victor's in such a good spot. All he has to do is spam! Tens with a shorty. <laughs> but there's still so much to do. Oh, no, second whiff. And time is short. They've got to push forward if they want to take this thing back. Ethan and Vic left alone. Nice knowing you. 15 HP. Last there's there any challenge. Standing. He ultimately falls. Second is not going to be able to get out. And honestly, a couple of shots there from the side of Sentinels, specifically Zekin. I think he had a chance to get two or three op kills into that round, but just not connecting. And this kill was so insane. That just makes you think maybe, you know, maybe we swap the gun of the op to somebody else so Zekin can run in with the rifle and entry. Sure. With tens there, because if he would have been right there, he could have gotten that trade maybe. And that could have opened up the retake. Small things like that change the outcome of the rounds. This is a very, very old default that we used to see NRG do, I mean, a couple of years ago during chamber meta, getting marved up on this box. If anybody peeks cat, they're dead. He's holding that line down. Now looking deep into mid, looking for even a jump spot from CT, looking for anything. Oh. Nicely done. Spotting one. I like still, this, though. There's still so much time in the round, though. Yeah. Here comes the counter, Jones. Come Trying on, to reclaim out. the info game in mid. Can Zekin find any value with these blades? It's not set up off of anything. There's not a flash on the other side. This is a duelist on his own. Looking to find a threat to pull on. Knife doesn't connect on anything close. Be main. So the trips will and should stay up. Celsus has all, but he's on the opposite side of the map. Here comes the blender. You're gonna see Sova dart off of contact with these trips and spam coming out. There's a dart. It's only spotting oh. one though. Nicely done, but the spam is there. They have to understand. Meanwhile, Zekin with the blades oh finding one from up top. Had to have gotten high ground, but Demon One pushing forward. Disposing of the opposition. Ult invested. 10 seconds left. They've got to go fast. But you've got to clear out John back sight. Oh! Beautifully done. Time to die. Don't make a fuss. Almost a very scary round for Sentinels. Honestly, off of a whiff, uh, like a whiff from Demon One. Even the, even the previous round with the knives, usually in that scenario, we see Demon One get two, three in that case. But just not stringing multi kills together today, it seems, is Demon One just getting a lot of one and dones, getting traded out very fast. It was quiet, map one. Seems to be continuing that here, map two. But the way that NRG set that round up, Doug was so clean, getting that late lurk down. Oh, in the oh, what? What was that? Talked about him whiffing a few shots in the previous round. Not this time. That was cold. And he knew. I mean, you go back to the beginning of the round. The crosshair was expecting the jump spot. I mean, you should run. That was for anybody. That could have been. That could have been anybody from NRG there on the jump spot. There, yeah. But who better for Sentinels than to take out Demon One? Especially in a light fight situation, a rifle in the hands of Victor, but that's it. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go re exploring. If he gets a timing mid, he's gonna get both. Oh, and he hears him running up Cat, too, so he will have the time. Oh, and Marv gets two! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Vic to blow it up, but the classic for Marv is a difference maker for now. And this is a perfect bait. Oh, but Marv, or Victor whiffs. The time is so short. Oh, the time is so short. These battles are so What a insane. round! He's gonna keep the op. The spike <laughs> will do the dirty work for him. NRG. Five rounds already. Marved again playing hero. Oh my gosh. Oof.
That's dirty, bro. Very accurate flick. But I will say that that jump peek was a little bit too wide out, honestly. You still gotta hit that shot, though. But I think most of the time you see players jump spot that. A little bit tighter? It's a lot tighter. It's yeah. a lot tighter. Op still in the hands of Zekin. But that's really it. <laughs> Placing the rest of the buy is not great. Five rounds to this half from NRG. It's, it's really good. Yeah, it's a great attack side. And a lot of them were towards that B side of the map. I think we've only seen like thrifties on the A side from NRG. Yeah. Something to note, maybe, for Sen. The Cypher just so far not getting too much value on the defense side. And again, silence covers the site. Mm -hmm. Just quiet. They love this door smoke. From NRG, they not, do two, not one in the smoke. Yeah, not even a footstep. They're not worried about it. As the spike, oh, excuse me, the smoke goes down. The spike pushes forward. The flash and the dash. Tens is playing in wine, but that's it. John trying to find some value with the classic. That's a big ask. Oh, they, they saw that, right? Start to see some spam come through. <laughs> As the defenses of Sentinels crumble once more. I'd be curious to see how energy plays this because there's plenty of time to hunt this op down if they wanted to. Yeah, and while they're hunting, you see on the map, everyone's moving right now. I want to point out that I think energy had a hard read into this round. I think they understood that Zekin was opping B because they made contact on Cat. Didn't get, didn't get any op shot baited out or anything like that towards that side of the map. So understanding that these bad guns will be on that A side and just taking their time, waiting for that smoke to go up door, not dying to anybody from sight. And lining things up to condition in the future rounds. Yeah. And we've seen how much of a menace Marv can be in that garden area, the garden cat area. He kind of owns that spot. <laughs> Look at Ethan, man. This guy has 14 kills, man. Yeah, he's, he's got another ult. He's had an outrageous half. I mean, Nice. So obvious, man. See? Up in the upper, upper, right. upper. You were uh, yeah. right. Yeah. You were right. Having a field day right now is NRG, and it looks like Sen will be taking a timeout. Very wise to do so, because this game is just slipping away. And very quickly, too. I mean, they, they have found some success with Zek and having the op. They weren't able to carry it over into the next round, but I think they should have enough money to invest it anyway. I think on the other side, if you're NRG, this this slow, methodical approach to yeah. the attack rounds just continue to cause fits. Yeah, they're, they're, their game plan is to just try to find out where the AWP is, where the Cypher is playing. It's very much like the last map that we saw. And yeah, that's true. Hitting the weak side is what they're trying to do. Yeah. Especially on the gun rounds. On the last eco round, obviously, they walked into a stack, but they were aware of what they were doing. They, didn't, they did not want to walk into the AWP at that time. So just a masterclass right now from NRG on this attack. Six of this last seven rounds. I mean, the rounds have come in bunches. Mm -hmm. And given some of the tools they have at their disposal, they could pop very quickly. Yeah, that's something I want to touch on actually is how oppressive a KO that is going off, that is popping off can be. With a, as a second ult. Yeah, with a Hunter's Fury over the top yeah. too, man. Yeah. Like. That's a bad day. It just feels like any round you win, this guy already has an alt up. And if they win with that alt, their economy is already broken and in the shambles. Zelsis has a judge. They're man they're managing their money in such a way to where Zekin can continue to get an op. Yeah. There's the challenge. Oh. Zekin wise to just show an arm there before he peeks out all the way. Yeah, dancing with death. There's a judge on the other no side. No way! And just disposed of. That was such a good peek from Demon One. It was Going just, wide. It was effortless. It looked so easy. Looked like he knew. Peeked it perfectly. And here you go. You get the kill. You cut noise again with the smoke on door. I think this is all fake. Well, just for a second, it looked like and it was just enough. There's only Zekin here, and he has to go huge for his team. He's got the op. At this point, you imagine he's just kind of playing to stay alive. Oh! He's got it! 
kill the, the spikes on the other side, but he peeks ahead of it and tries to get a second. NRG is so smart right now. They're so dialed in. 70 HP, trying to dance around. Oh, wow. But he got the job done. Spike is planted. And now things slow down. A 2v2 as you hear the dart. Soar across the site. Ethan playing in a position to where he can impact things at the end of the round. Leaving Vic to his own devices. That ult's gonna be big. Can Vic keep him back by himself? While Ethan starts to move forward. Drop Saucy. John by himself will not deliver. He cannot. NRG. Look like they're taking this map away with them. Dude, they're, I mean, they're speed running their way to split at this point. <laughs> and you see the different layers that they have on this map now and why they condition that door smoke. This time opting to fake and go back to the B site, investing the KO ult as well. And had Ethan not gotten that trade onto tens who killed Demon One there, maybe a faster rotation would come out from the likes of Sen. But they did, they were not able to make it in time. And Zekin just got overwhelmed. Like, he can't deal with everything, right? Omen all back sight. Right. So was running out to trade with Killjoy. <laughs> that one way is not kind. But honestly, I mean, tens of two HP. Yeah. Wow. It looked like they were trying to set up Zekin on some really aggressive space, B main, too. I really like the way Energy's just played that map. Or just played this round, this early round. Showing aggression in A main. Showing that there's multiple players there. And that ultimately ultimately led Sentinels to try to claim some space at B. Running into a flash play. Lulled into their death cell. So this with the right, oh, the right click on the flash. Thought he was going to get ahead of things, but three members on the other side. And now energy can push forward. Look at the mini map. Just like you said. Nobody on this A site. And look at how cautious energy is still being. Yeah. He's clearing everything out. Still committing the utility. They don't want to get cheesed right now. Yeah, they're playing this round by the book. Man, this is, this is a master class. I mean, Sen Sendles have already decided to save. Yeah. And this is a disaster half for the side of Sun. What adjustments need to be made? I think, I think it all starts with the mid area of the map. I think when Zekin was able to get those early kills in, med, in mid, they were able to actually get something going for themselves in yep. the mid round. But without any mid control or any mid re-clear, Sen is just not, not able to hold these hits or, or anything. Right. So I think we need to see more proactivity from the side of Sentinels. But it just might be too late, Doug. We're too deep in the half. I mean, this is a 3-8, almost a 9-3. Does NRG give them this round to dodge the 9-3 curse? Round before the switch. <laughs> that's the question, because at this point, I think that's all that's stopping them to take this map away. 17-5 and five for Ethan. <laughs> I, I mean, the timeline tells the whole story. Sentinels have struggled to find success. Yeah. And now Demon 1 has an op in his hand. <laughs> Two ops, actually. Get an op up for Marv, and this is what happens when you win so many rounds in a row, like you were talking about. Yeah, there's luxury in this. Drop yourself a rifle, show an op on both extremities. Can't use that. Try to peek ahead into this. I mean, and, and just having op presence on attack makes you just play so differently as the defenders. You're oh, scared to sure. jiggle, you're scared to hold certain lines. And that's tough, especially when you were just calling for uh, perhaps a little bit more proactivity Yeah. from yeah. the defensive side. It causes massive hesitation. Oh, oh great. Molly, though. So dead. That is the proactivity we needed, though, and I'm glad it was off utility, making sure we don't get picked by the off. That's one down. And that was crazy that Saucy just went for the 1v1 with an Odin against an op. Because the op. He's picked it up, <laughs> and he falls. <laughs> Meeting the same fate. <laughs> I guess the counter to the op is the Odin. Oh. <laughs> it seems to be the case. It's a big kill, though. Yeah, but a 4v2? 
Maybe. Defense is spread out though, two and two. If they if they actually group up here, it will be an even fight on either side. 30 seconds left. Looking to see if he can find any info with the knife. No one playing back site. Yeah, Ethan's doing all this on purpose. Drawing attention, trying to allow Marv to find an opening. That jiggle, I don't think it was seen. Start to see some of this fame come through. 10 seconds left on the round. Zelsis with three and Sentinels get to four. Yeah. And then our G, yeah, I think they gave it to him. I would, I, I would, I would think Zelsis in the round. Yeah, they wanted to dodge, dodge the 9-3 curse. We'll take a look at it again. I think jokes aside, I think when you think about how well matched up these two teams are, one round really can make all the difference. It can. That's not an insignificant round. Most definitely. And it was all based off of what I was talking about, like trying to re-aggro in mid, and they actually caught a timing to, to punish. Earlier, we spoke with Victor about the legacy of NRG's core, the original NA super team. Take a listen. I think for uh, our core, uh, or our old core, uh, myself, Austin, or Crashies, uh, Marv, then Jet, I think we're kind of used to that perception of us. Um, people have been calling us the best team in North America since like Optic and like late 2021, we were still known as Envy. Uh, so uh, I think we're just used to it. And for the other two, Ethan and Demon One, I think they're also used to it. They've been like considered the best team in NA for a little, or EG was considered the best team in NA for like uh, most of last year or most of last season and they won champs so I'm sure I'm sure they're used to it so as a team I don't think it bothers us um if anything it just feels good that people like are slightly scared of us if anything Sentinels might be up a map but they find themselves down on a set and I think it's really interesting to hear Vic talk about the core of NRG and how yeah I think there is an element of respect that's shown to this squad and I mean you see it in the game reason play. yeah yeah Sentinels trying to play proper, you know, trying to play fundamentally sound using utility. <laughs> that couldn't be more true. <laughs> Two titans in the server. I mean, both these teams are so good. Yeah, they've matched up super well. I think this this feels like, I mean, this has to be what the biggest gap we've seen in the series. Yeah. Four rounds. Yeah, it is. I will say it is on NRG's map pick. And if you're picking Ascent as your map, you have to be so confident in your attack because you know you already know every single team is going to choose defense first. Right. It's, it's the most defense side of map in the game right now. Right. But to be that confident, like that, that's what makes a good Ascent team is that when you do start on attack, you control the pace and you're able to condition certain things and run away with a lead like this on a map where four rounds is great. You get eight. Like you're feeling great right now. And oh, if you're sure. Ascent on the flip side, you got to win this pistol. Everyone towards B here. And quiet. Yeah. And that was the cue. Expecting the knife, dodging the knife. Crashy still has his dart. The thing is, is, they haven't shown anything towards the A side of the map. Oh, attacked him. They're going to push him. Second dashing forward, the paranoid trying to hit stairs. Seconds there. Drops Crashy's. A window open and Sentinel's barge through. That was a sick knife. I mean, he never was able to get the dart off. Here. That trip. Oh. Spike so planted. impossible. He still has cam up to watch the cleared up and walk in. Oh, oh, the flash was perfect. They dealt with main. But the bigger issue lies on the site, lies before him. Uh oh. Uh -oh. yeah, Demon One's pushing forward. He's uh -oh. managed to slip the net. Oh my gosh! He does it again. <laughs> Just when we thought that Sen was gonna take this pistol around and have a chance, Energy just sucking the life out of them. Demon One getting way too much real estate there on that catwalk area. Too much value there. It hit the flick on the guy back sight. Are you kidding? A snowball continues, and you know you mentioned just how important it was to win this pistol. Take a look at that oh again. A clean one tap. Oh, that's a feels bad, man. Yeah, you can see it on their faces, man. They know, they know they have that one. That was such a crucial round. I'll keep the quiet. To get any type of momentum. Now, barring some sort of thrifty, we're likely looking at a 10 4 scenario. Oh, those shocks. They don't feel good. Only hit one, though. 
put Zelsus in at 4 HP. They do not like what they're seeing, but I like this from Sen. They're, they're thinking of the comeback. They're thinking of the long con. Trying to farm up this KO, KO alt already. Not investing. They want a full buy. I mean, this would be a ridiculous comeback. Yeah. Down five rounds on the attack side. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> but as you and I have talked about, I mean, you just take it around at a time. Yeah, exactly. And when you're losing like this, like any round matters. Yep. I've said this before, but every round that you can get truly does matter going into the next map. I think you can even see the objective. The way that Sentinels want to play this attack, attack half. Zelsis is so close to getting his ult online already. He just got one step closer, Ew. now two hits away, upgrading a weapon. Ew, Doug. I mean, that's, it's still, <laughs> there's still a lot to be done here. Yeah, yeah. Cage triggered. 30 seconds left. But honestly, I think playing in the long term, the closer Zelsis can get to getting his ult online, the better. I think that's key here. He falls, John QT, 2 HP left. He has bomb! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ethan with three on the round, make that four. Oh, he has ult! Zekin, the last oh, one standing. Ten seconds left. And he will get cleared, NRG gets a 10. And now the game begins, and potentially, the final round of the map. I mean, decent damage done, but Ethan gets KO'd off of that. 23 and seven. <laughs> this guy had nine kills in the last map. So really taking it personal. A night and day Fight difference. Not allowing what happened in the last map to happen again, maybe. What was going through his head was, oh, if I would have been there, we could have won that last map. Maybe this could have been a 2-0. Must win round for Sentinels. Demon one with the Guardian. Ethan investing as he should. He's been popping Whoa. off all game. Uh-oh. They know. Oh. How do they know? He still gets the kill. Wow. That was such a cool idea, smoking off Vic so the dart doesn't tag him. Yeah. But they still had an idea. Sassy took a lot of damage there in that opening scuffle. Marved first contact here. He's really far oh, up. Did he see him? No. But he falls anyway. That's a gun dip. That's now 3 HP, 3 members left what? for NRG as Ethan continues to farm, continues to frag, and continues to frustrate the opposition. He almost hit that second shot. Yeah. Ethan and Crash, he's left alone. He's gonna find a time, he gets another! Fortunately, disaster averted as Elsus cleans him up. But now Crash, he's just left alone. He's got full util. He's got plenty of health. But what he didn't have was a shot against Denz there. So the must win round for Sentinels comes through. One round at a time. And something I'm noticing right now out of Sentinels, specifically Zekin, is hesitation on his initial peaks. He even in mid jiggled Victor there in the bottom mid before he swung out. And then you saw him actually get punished in A main, jiggling heaven against Demon 1. So maybe doubting himself a little bit right now. And that's not what you need. That's not what you want. He needs to be confident for his team to make this comeback. And maybe that round win could be the confidence that he needs to get some of these initial duels. Team in one has had a guardian like the last, like, what, four rounds? Three rounds? You look, <laughs> look at the money that they have. There's a real good chance he carries an op into the next. I mean, I don't know what happened on the A side of the map, but... Well, there was a little confidence. All the picks going their way. Yeah. I mean, both threats Cover in this round, the two down. guardians sit Drop harmlessly the on the ground. That's the confidence I was talking about. Yep. Zekin needs to tap into that. Don't doubt your don't doubt yourself. But I understand. Maybe you thought there was an op online. I get it. You know, there's a lot of things that go on in the mind of a player. You see the protocols there for Sentinels as they were taking the side. Ultimately, there's no one there, but the idea mm -hmm. was evident. The drone swings out. Tens the is area. ready with the paranoia if there is contact, and then they can flood, but he's able to keep it and carry it into the attempted retake if there is one. Yeah. You see, for energy, they don't have much. And they want Saucy to get closer to his alt here. Well, so even if he goes down, it's okay. Their economy is fine. Here. They'll be all right. You gotta, do, you gotta go round by round anyway. This is such a long runway, you really can't think too yeah. far forward. 
do want to get that so vault online for next round though so maybe you'll see a b main default out of sen or an a main default try to get the orb on to saucy saucy try to explode on a site with that ult they want to string some rounds together they want to snowball and that's that initial contact oh nicely done nice readjustment there from zekin and so they get to four 10-6 still in favor of nrg ult on mine for ethan and i don't expect anything fast here but there is an op online he is passive off in this B line again. Seems like that's the name of the game for Chet here against the Sen squad playing these passive off angles. Now he's going to get re aggressive now yeah. in the mid round. So, really playing for that second layer. And they're, do they're doing such a good job of trying to set him up. Mm -hmm. You saw Vic to contact, there's a turret there. And then he can swing. Is Zekin ready for this? Oh, he's dialed in. He looks ready. Just one That's a footstep. The difference here. He's got to know. He spotted a hand. Demon one. Demon Shoots one just a little early. Go. Yeah, he's stuck. This is very reminiscent to what we saw previously. Second gets him. Wow. Not able to dash away. Not able to find solace. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ethan filth again. <laughs> a 4v4 though. As the brakes are thrown on the round. Run. Expecting aggression. Oh, and it lands! Ethan's done. That opens up the site, Doug. Vic is trying to hold from spawn, though. Oh, no. And now he's smoked off. Crashies might go huge here. If he gets it. What? Did he just one tap him through the smoke? Yes! Shut down. And now Crashies finds success, too. They're going to snatch this thing back. Oh, no. Contends do it again. Planted. My ultimate is ready. Desperate need to he pull out a miracle here. Vic is weak. The first one falls. The second doesn't. An attempt was made. Crash has just hit 5 HP. But NRG get another round. I would love to see that back from Victor's POV. I need to see how he killed Zach in there because that was crazy. We heard one bullet. I think that was all that was fired. I mean, Sentinel set this round up so good. They, I mean, they had it. Oh, one step oh, off oh. of one footstep. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, no. And now a timeout called from Sentinels. Still down a fair amount. So long road to recovery. <laughs> I just can't believe Ethan's sitting on 26 kills. And I mean... He could, he could go for 30 right yeah, now. No, no one else is even close in the he, server. He really could. Like legit, no one's even close. Just great play right now from NRG. And Sentinel's losing a lot of these micro fights. But like, I mean, what can you do when you're just getting spammed through a smoke like that, you know? That's tough to say, but Kaplan seems to have a lot that he wants to share with his team right now. Very animated. Trying to will things back. Yeah, maybe trying to make the Sen boys maybe just calm down a little bit understand all the steps they have to take don't skip a step you know the little like, things yeah like that that even just that little footstep that Zach and made made, made her break the round right so trying to make everybody hone right in and now you're seeing John struggle right now who normally plays Killjoy on this map and he's looked pretty good on it you know I just I just feel like not really getting anything going here with the cypher Zack and Wool have blades online. Demon one with the op. Get out of my way! And guess who's waiting on the other side? It's the duelist. Zekin with blades. Smoked off for now, but he's gonna cross. Everything's showing towards A right now. A main control. Bottom mid smoke comes out with a mid dart. The drone B main also clearing out. And the knife to yeah. get even more solidified info. If I'm Sen right now, I need to show something B or just go for a B hit. That. Cause there's too many people here on the A rotate. Everything they've shown so far in this round has led to A. And that's why they're stacked up here. You're absolutely right. Look at all the pings on the map. Here. Oh, we'll yeah, the hit's gonna come through, but we've seen Marv here before, Doug. Second dashing forward. Blade still in play. Oh, he's flash, tries to land the shot anyway. He's gone hunting, not able to connect on the right click. 
Mar falls though. Zekin with the Guardian now. Able to upgrade a little bit. And he's trying to land the shots onto the op, and he does. Crashies and Vic left alone. It's all onto Victor now. It was decisive in the face of the rotations, in the face left. of the fact that energy had a heavy presence here. They find success, they find space. And once again, the thoughts and the possibilities of a comeback are flirted with. <laughs> Not but making it easy for energy. And, and I've got to stress again, yes, it's a round, it's an important one, but there's still so much <laughs> that has to go their way, especially on the attack side of Ascent. Yeah. And Victor's getting close to this KJ ult as well. Should be able to keep the op into the next. The crowd's going crazy right now. No, there's just one guy. Yeah. Not ready yet. He is the crowd. <laughs> like that wide swing from John on Cat. Yeah. So it looks like Vic will carry the op into the next. Sentinels will get to seven. And the money is the money's not great for NRG. They did save the op though. I wonder yeah. now if we're gonna see Demon One buy a Guardian. Because he does have funds. He should have the funds to be able to do a light buy. So maybe you have Demon One with the Guardian and somebody else on the opposite side with an off. Marv or somebody, yeah. Yeah. Could be the case. Historically, it's been Marv. And that might be part of the conversation right now as Energy calls the timeout. Yeah, what can we do right now to get a cheese round win, you know, or cheese first blood to try to have a chance in winning this round with a bad economy? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize Demon One has knives, so maybe a couple more guns than just that, but now nah, I think it's just going to be knives and the op. And I think you're going to see maybe uh, Victor playing a retake A setup here, playing off of his util in heaven to delay. If he gets a kill on the actual site hit, he can have that KJ alt to retake. And perhaps on the other side of the map, an aggressive play in B main, maybe a, a flash dart with jet knives dashing in, maybe tiles, something like that. Yeah, causing some problems, wreaking some havoc. Trying to push, trying to funnel Sentinels into that A site. But we'll see after this timeout. That is a preset play that a lot of teams like to do. And look, I think they're already gearing up for that. I think I was I think right on right. the money. I think you may have been right. <laughs> I mean, it's what I would call if I had jet knives. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> Four rounds separating these two. What's interesting here, though, is that KO isn't mid to do, to do the splash tiles. Yeah. But Sen has already read into this as well. Oh, now. It seems like a different flash, and they have a paranoia potentially to crunch B. Yeah. No one there, though. Very wise from yeah. Sen, but this is all on Vic right now. That's a deep Will smoke. Will he get the entry? There's the paranoia. They're taking all that space B. The question is, will Sentinels take A while they can? He's got the op in hand. Ah, Not gonna flash. find a timing window, you're right. Destroyed. Oh wait, this would be huge. He's very aggressive. Oh, oh he lands a shot on the Sassy. He needs to live. Now it's winnable, Doug. Demon one, play it's online. And look at Crash, he's in spot again. He's so far back. I think he's gonna ult the back. I think so too. The oh, only gap. There it is. Oh. Tapping on to Zelsis. Oh, just narrowly missing. And all repositions, but three players are detained. Demon one pushing forward, looking to find oh. another, and he does. That's the third. John Cleet left alone. And once again, the seeds of a comeback fall upon a barren soil. Just when it seems like they have something that they could hang on to, something they could use to push back. My camera is destroyed. NRG pull out a miracle. And like. Sentinels was even left. ready for that. They, they had all the info. You had John set up, set up outside of B with the cam so he could see it, but it's just such a strong setup when you're running into the off. And props to Victor for actually going for that peak. And hitting the shot. Yeah, too. It, it, it made the round so winnable. He knew what the win con was and he, he acted upon it. Nice thrifty. He got his one and he got out. All those jet reps from last year playing the, the jet on Breeze. You see it coming to fruition now. Hopping on Killjoy. So funny how and things work. And honestly, not just him, you know, we talk about him getting value with the op and whatnot, but his lockdown secured the round. Yeah. They close things out. There's that early aggression. You see the dart into tiles to flash up to try to challenge. Still guns on the side of Sentinels. There's still a chance here. There's still hope. 
as you see Sentinels poking and prodding, trying to find a fight. Demon One's on the other side. He gets the best. Uh oh. Of Zek and Butt, can Sentinels punch back? They're gonna get the sight. Zelsus has ult. Does he invest the ult here? I mean, I kind of almost want him to keep it for any hopes of a comeback, but you gotta do what you gotta do to win the round. Yeah. Dark flash, not in sync. Just a that's little behind. That's something a little bit uncharacteristic. Mm -hmm. From what we've seen out of Sun, normally they synchronize those together to make sure they get a scan. Well, I don't think they're keen on this, man. Yeah, I think energy's just going for exits. Yeah, I think so. Just trying to get damage, get more all orbs up. That's a big kill. That's a huge kill. He's got plenty of money. And they don't opt to grab it. The op. <laughs> And that was a fast, fast round from Sun. Kind of sending Zekin up mid and Cat to just be a lone warrior while the rest of the players hit B. Just a distraction. Oh, and also putting, I mean, putting the game in your duelist hands. Go get a pick, go find a kill. Yeah. And so again, Sentinels continue to push the possibility of a comeback and my concern, though, is, I mean, there's no, there's really no room for mistake anymore. Mm -hmm. It's got to be perfect from here on out. You have to find the right reads. You have to get the max value out of this KO ult. And this is where I think John really will come into his own. I like the calling this. has to be perfect. I like this. Smoke bottom mid, knife A main. All signs leading towards A again. Last time they did stuff like this, they actually committed. But Ethan looks like he's ahead of this. The drone tagged one. Now they're contacting him with the KO all. They've got to go fast here. KJ's on the other side, so they're still going to be able to pop these mollies. Holy oh, smokes. Hit. They wait out the mollies. They take the space. Where's the challenge? Where's the re-aggress? Oh my gosh. They try to hold back side on their own. Crash, he's falling. Oh my gosh. Or at least... Staying alive for now, a flash in his face. He tries to turn itself, sucker punches him. Oh! Demon one and Ethan left alone, but they've gotten it down to two. Spike's still not playing it. Can they find the space? Time now becomes a factor. Tag them up. Just barely. Cover going out. The two implants, the two new additions to this squad with an opportunity to take us to split. Oh, that dagger. If they can it drop won't. tens and Zelsis right now. One Ethan creeping forward. Remaining. The first one falls. Zelsis having to clutch and he cannot split on the cards as we're going the distance. And what was a blunder from second. Quick switching his gun before he peeked. Maybe a misclick or something. Potentially, yeah. He had a 3v2, Doug. Maybe the pressure getting into the heads of Sentinels in the moment. A lot of micro mistakes were made. But again, honestly, man, given the stakes, given what's up for grabs, for things to settle on split, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, energy historically pretty good at split and Sentinels this year has been absolutely dominant on the map. <laughs> we have Eddie Miller saying one more. <laughs> there were so many close moments. And again, I, I think ultimately the problem was Sentinels just kind of ran out of gas at the end. They continued to push the possibility of a comeback, but the runway was just too short. Yeah, adaptation's made a little bit too late. Split on the other side of this break. We will see you guys in just a few moments. We'll be right back.